So I had this idea where I would build some of the Dream SMP members' houses because I'm a bit of an architectural dude and I know there's a spot open for that on the Dream SMP. Totally not more market mar mar mark Markiplier. So I chose four of the Dream SMP members to build their houses for them. And speaking of marketizing, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. That would help a lot. With that being said, let's go to our first house. So, our first house is Tommy Innitz. Tommy Innitz's house is just basically Dirk Shen. Uh, the reason why I've done this is that, number one, he had multiple reasons to, like, move out of this, but he kept the same even with people changing it. I added some spruce planks to swim smooth it out, and also because it kind of looks like dirt. And also I added the grass, surrounded flowers, and a little skylight on the top. I also added his favorite block as the front part of the house because you know if you like a block so much then i would say you would uh, would like to look at it the majority of the time all right so now let's head inside where i actually added the most personality into this house all right so we have a jukebox to play the music this you know the conflict of a whole entire thing the um using his shirt color yeah, I, I, I don't really know. I just looked at his skin and I was like, yeah, this is probably what he likes. We have a nice couch and everything, and there's nothing really in the chest or anything. Nice little sp dining place, different color woods because he doesn't really know how to build. And yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. All right, for our second house, we were just talking about Tommy, so let's talk about one of his friends, Tubbos. I based off his on a greenhouse because, what is it, he loves bees and why not give him bees? You know, like bees everywhere. And this is a very nice open looking house. I I kind of like it, it's it's a nice greenhouse, it's my first attempt building a greenhouse. Done pretty good. I would change some stuff, but like, eh. If we go inside, we can tell there's a lot of bees and like that such- I don't- I don't know if I misspelled anything. No, I, th I think that's spelled right. Yeah. No. Oh. I'm just gonna be looking at that for an hour. I don't know if I did spell it right or not. So, everything is around here is based for the bees. You know, because he cares about the bees. So we have a whole lot of these, you know, pollination giant leaf things because, you know, that helps with the pollination for the bees and everything. And he doesn't have a bed in here because he cares about the bees a little bit too much, so he rather demote most of the space for the bees. And there's three hives in here, and yeah, there's just, it, it's just all bees. I should have added a like, wait. Boom. There. A boat. I don't know why I added the boat, it's just because, you know, everyone associates him with boats or whatever. Alright, let's, let's move on to our next house. Alright, the next house is made for our main protagonist, the person that doesn't actually have a house on the SMP, I believe. I haven't been keeping up. You know, he's the person that the server's named after, and we have Dream's house. This is Dream's house. So, I say he was pretty suited in this little containment thing. It suits him. Um, you got, you got some green on the bed. Well, apparently he... Like green on the walls. Let's head inside. All right. So this is the interior side. Yeah, it's it's, it's nice. Different looking floors. All right. Let, let's see what he has in his set. So. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that a hole in the wall? Wait a second. Wait a sec. <laughs> Alright, for our final house, it's, it's, I say this one's, this one's like the best looking out of all of them. And it's for the Blood God himself, Technoblade. I, I know he has a pretty decent house already from in the Dream SMP, so I just built like this little bit of a, like, wooden shack type of style. You know, a little bit of, I used the blocks that he used in his actual build in this, and also, you know, added my own little shazam on it. 
All right, and also you could tell there's, uh, based off him, he has his bells outside, and there's a little flower, like, you know, nice little details. It's nice and cozy, like he wanted it to. All right, so let's head inside. I'm just going to say this. I believe the interior of this house really represents who Technoblade is. I'm, I'm really proud of the interior in this house because, you know, I put a lot of work into it, and I think it really represents who he is. Yeah. There we go. Subscribe! Subscribe to Technoblade! And Emerald Block, subscribe! And while you're at it, why don't you uh, why don't you scroll down to the bottom of this video and hit subscribe on for me! Me, Adrian, I would deeply appreciate it because, you know, you guys are nice people, right? Alright, well, that's all I have to really show. Hello? Hi, uh... I, I don't know how much time I got. I, I finally got a camera working in this place. Uh, I haven't seen my family in like months, and I've been forced to make like like a hundred houses for the Dream SMP, and I don't know what to. Sam! 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 Oh god! Oh god! Uh, I don't have much time. Uh, please send help. Subscribe. Whatever. Uh, goodbye.